Yeah, and our next startup is Strayberry from Iran. I welcome here Nilofa Mokadam Travitsis. Yeah. yeah, CPO of Strayberry. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Before I start, I want to thank you all. This is Nilofa from the Strayberry team. I know most of you here are startups or entrepreneurs, and you know how life goes when you start a startup and want it to be successful. So no time for anything else, no fun, no nothing. As a result of this lifestyle, I realized that I have some dental issues while my insurance is expired and I didn't visit my dentist for about two years. Well, that time, I realized that many people have this problem in the era of pandemic and busy lifestyle in 2021. So I thought we can solve some problems of the dentist, insurance, patient triangle while saving time, cost, and nature. Yes, a straight break. A Strayberry is a machine learning based mobile application that detects oral hygiene problems in seconds with no extra tools, does checkups at no cost on 724, and reports and analyzes all this data. So you save time, money, and pain. And it's not just for the individuals. To give you an idea, I'm sorry, it's a little difficult. To give you an idea, on our test trial, we collaborated with DRC and Fresh Response NGOs for refugees camps. Refugees use strawberry to find the most needed people for the treatment. A process that take months was done in minutes. What can someone? I'm sorry. What can someone never go to the dentist while using a strawberry? <laughs> no, but up to 95% of dental issues could be prevented just by monitoring and regular checkups that the strawberry is providing with high accuracy. Plus, to consider the times, fuels, and papers that are going to be saved. Also, in the near future, we will have X-ray photo analysis, cost prediction based on the location and appointment setter. We provide solutions for personal daycare. With time and money-saving approaches, we provide a solution for the dentist, insurance, and patient triangle, while for including the uh, fraud detections for insurances and second opinion for dentists. We never charge users for service. Actually, we have a subscription-based plan for insurances. Imagine the win-win situation. A retired insurance officer told me when people request for the insurance funds, if they remove, if we remove the extra uh, paperwork and assessment costs, we can actually pay all of them with no question. And Strawberry does this one with fraud detections, reports, and other features. We plan to get involved into the insurance market within the next three years, which is roughly equal to 20 to $2 billion. There are other competitors in the world that provide some similar services with different approaches. We can mention purely Overjet and Dentinit as our current competitors. And founders have two other entrepreneurship experience together. We established Data Collab in 2019 in London and generated $300,000 as revenue in the last 12 months. And at last, oh. <laughs> Sorry, three minutes are over. Maybe that's okay. Yeah, uh, yeah it yeah. was actually about and our favorite the, team. <laughs> and for the Q&A, you will get some support from your co-founder, Ali Farid. Yeah. So, Shiri, please. Where are we actually at the moment where are you active? In, in, uh, in, in Iran and in London? Uh, not understood? really. That's another startup that we actually started two years ago. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, we wanted to talk about our experience. Okay. Maybe to add to that, so what are your plans for expanding to Germany and targeting the German market? So, like that? Uh, so, of course, so uh, we actually see Germany as, let's say, geographically and financially a hub uh, for Europe. Uh, so we really uh, wanted to start collaboration with the insurance companies that uh, they work in in Europe. Oliver. So do you have any experience um, go into kind of a regulated market regarding these insurance topic and health industry thing? Of course, uh, we actually started uh, like doing the regulation for the uh, Canada, and we're uh, already working in Iran as well. Uh, so that we find out that, uh, for example, the Canada rules and EU, uh, European is 
almost the same. Uh, that's why we started there and to also expand to US. Um, how about your uh, connection to dentist? So, really, I don't not really understand. So, I didn't get it. Sorry. Um, do Do you see yourself as a, a competitor of a dentist, or you you want to compare or cooperate with dentists? So, is it is it kind of a target to to find some dentist organizations to to get your your product boosted? And uh, not at all. We actually helping the dentist, for example. Uh, consider that uh, our app actually supports voice comments for dentists to just uh, give the report. So the dentist doesn't need to write anything, so he uh, or she just uh, give the voice comment and the app, uh, the dashboard for the dentist is writing everything. Yeah, you know, so it's actually for help. Beside our apps, we have dashboards for NGOs, insurance, and dentists that you can have, you know, when you do the checkup there. And if you are the, you can uh, enter your dentist or clinics or others, and they can see and your reports, and they can do everything, and they can monitor it. Based on the, your uh, pictures. Yeah. Someone else? No? Okay. Then thanks to Ali and Nilofar. Yeah.